In today's video, I'm going to explain you what JavaScript arrays are and how you can use them. In addition to that, I'm going to show you how you can change and access an array. In this tutorial, I'm also going to explain the difference between array and objects and when you can use them. So let's start with the question, what exactly is an array? An array is a data structure which can store a fixed size collection of elements with the same data type. You can imagine it as an object collecting variables of the same data type. Let's take a look at the JavaScript array syntax. An array consists of the variable name and its JavaScript keyword. This array variable is assigned to a list of values being called inside square brackets. Spaces and lines are not important. It means that an array declaration can span multiple lines like that. When it comes to accessing the elements inside the array, we refer to the index number. Array indexes always start counting from zero. This means that if I would like to get the third element, which is value 3, I would have to refer to the second number. In JavaScript there are some built-in array properties and methods with whom we can change our arrays. For example, we can get the length of the array by using the length property. If we would like to sort the array, we would add the sort method after the array name. So first comes the array name, followed by the sort method. If we wanted to sort the arrays by numbers, we would have to provide a compare function inside the sort method. The purpose of the compare function is to define an alternative sort order. When the sort function compares two values, it sends these to the compare function and sort these values according to the result that can be negative, positive or zero. If the result is positive, B is sorted before A. This means that 23 in this case comes before 34. If the result is negative, A is sorted before B. This means that the array stays the same. And in the end we will get the following output. Now let's talk about the differences between arrays and objects. Objects represent a special data type that is mutable and can be used to store a collection of data. So when do we use objects? Objects are used to represent a thing in your code. That could be a person, a car, or a building. Basically anything that is made up or can be defined by a set of characteristics. In objects, these characteristics are called properties that consist of a key and a value. Meanwhile, the arrays only contains data elements of the same data type. So let's sum that up. If you want to order or manipulate similarly typed data, you use arrays. If you want to store grouped properties of a single entity, you will have to use objects instead. In the next video, I'm going to explain you the JavaScript if statements.